how to start maxi futures trading for beginners hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we will be taking a look at how you can start the maxi futures trading so let's get into it now maxi is a crypto marketplace where you can choose to trade buy and sell crypto uh, they have a lot of different coins and tokens available as well as fast spot trading and futures trading options so to get started with your futures trade you're going to go into your futures and you're going to go into usttm and this will open up your simple little usttm crypto futures trade now i have already created my account you just need your email to get started with maxi global and you're gonna begin your futures trade now there are quite a few things you need to keep in mind with futures trade because futures trades are super risky and if you're not able to manage your risk properly then you might end up you know liquidating your entire wallet now the first thing that you're going to do whenever you're going to trade in your futures is that you're going to move your money or your tokens or usdt from your actual wallet in your wallet so you're going to go into your wallet and with the wallet overview you're going to trade uh, from the spot account into the futures account so you're going to just click on transfer over here from your spot account to your futures account and then choose your token and choose the amount of usdt that you want to be playing around with now uh, you also have to keep in mind however much money you are selecting then you're already going to be putting it all at risk depending on how much you're trading so make sure to keep that in mind whenever you are moving money from your spot account to your futures account after you have moved money moved some funds from your spot account to your token uh, to your actual futures account you're going to move ahead and go into your uh you're just going to click on the top over here you have your futures overview and usdtm you're going to click on this and this will open up the trading platform for your trade and uh, moving money from your spot account to your futures account you don't have to pay for any fees and because this is they like got inter maxi trade because you're not trading to any other platform you're going to be able to do this for free now the first thing you don't you have to do depending on what fund you want to the account to be on on the left side you're going to see the token that you have selected so this is the btc or usdt perpetual and you can select any other coin or token that you want and over here you have your trading pair so you can choose any trading pair that you want maybe you want to do uh, ethereum and usdt maybe you want to do amx and usdt whatever you might want so you're going to choose the trading pairs that you want so one of the, two of the most popular ones are definitely ethereum and bitcoin everyone loves that so these are some of the two most popular future trades that you can go get started with so now on the right side of your account you're actually going to be making your trade so you have your limit market and trigger limit and you're going to enter the price of usdt and the quantity of btc you want to buy with it so uh let's say at a certain price when the price of btc reaches this amount of usdt you want to purchase it you can see on the left side of your screen so you can see on the left side of your screen you have your current market trades what btc is selling at being purchased at so you can select the specific price that you want to purchase on and what you're going to do is you're going to enter the amount of btc you want and you can go ahead and add the quantity 100% 50% however much you want now with this you also have a stop order limit that you can set which will allow you to better manage your purchase so let's say you put in a order request of buying BTC at 30 uh, at $23,800 and uh, they find like two BTC that you could purchase with it but they couldn't find more you can also add a stop order limit where it would allow you to either fulfill your entire order or cancel the order altogether so you don't have half completed trades as well now let's say that you are are opening with the expectation that the price of BTC is going to go up so you're going to click on open long then and you're going to be doing open long and once you do that then you're going to be doing open short so if you do open long and the price of BTC falls then you're going to be incurring a losses but if you do open short and the price of BTC falls then you're going to be making a profit so this is something that you need to keep in mind and you can make money with both the increase in BTC price and the decrease in BTC price price as well now after that if you go ahead and add your long leverage you have cross leverage where you will be shared across all positions and then you have isolated margin leverage so the more leverage if you have 1x as your leverage then you're going to be making you're going to be taking no risk if you take 2x risk that means you're trading for twice the amount of money that you have put in so depending on the amount of risk that you want obviously with 
a 125x risk that means you're trading 125 times the amount of money that you actually have and this results in liquidating your money very often so i would recommend keeping the risk as a beginner below 10 and i would usually even suggest that just go with two times the risk or three times the risk don't exceed that because if you are a beginner on the platform then you're going to not be able to manage your risks as efficiently as you might think now after that what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and choose the closing limit on your long margin so you're going to set the limit on how much you want to close for it and then you can also set a trigger limit where you have the price closing at a specific price so let's say that if you're longing btc and the price goes to maybe you're longing btc and the price goes to let's say twenty six thousand, and you expect there to be a crash then you can add a specific trigger limit where the trigger price for selling btc or closing btc would be twenty six thousand, and as soon as the trigger price is reached all of your assets will slowly be closed so that will enable you to also avoid any sudden market crashes that you might be expecting now now depending on what kind of funding rate that you get you can short sellers as well so you can see that the, when the funding rate is positive you are going to pay this funding fee to short sellers and every eight hours the this entire circle was going to reset because they want to minimize their discrepancies between the futures and the contract price and the underlying price and there's also a premium in the funding fee as well as an interest rate because many people borrow funds to trade such as leveraging so depending on how much money you are leveraging you're going to be putting in or taking that risk on the account of another person's money now let's say that uh, leverage is just totally optional so if you go ahead and make a lot of leverage on your money you take a lot of leverage that is actually going to make you at risk and if you take too much leverage that is totally up to your own decision but for short sellers i wouldn't recommend it because if you are short selling then you're going against the market and if the market is going to go up then you're going to be incurring major losses so that is some of the basics futures trading on mexi so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that i showed in this video and if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video i would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video regarding any other video or regarding any social platform then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and i will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our youtube channel i want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and i will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video